Around the Corner, a poem written by Charles Henson Towne. Around the corner I have a friend in this great city that has no end. Yet the days go by and the weeks rush on and before I know it, a year is gone and I never see my old friend's face for life is a swift and terrible race. He knows I like him just as well as in the days when I rang his bell and he rang mine. If we were younger then, and now we are busy, tired men. Tired of playing a foolish game, tired of trying to make a name. Tomorrow, I say, I will call on Jim, just to show that I am thinking of him. And tomorrow comes and tomorrow goes, and distance between us grows and grows around the corner, yet miles away. Here's a telegram, sir. Jim died today. And that's what we get and deserve in the end. Around the corner, a vanished friend. Friends, this is Sukhwan Singh. Today I thought of beginning my address to you all with these wonderful lines written by Charles Towne. I tried to just uh, check up who this Charles was. He lived, he was born in the late uh, 19th century and he lived in the early, the first uh, part of uh, 20th century. He was born in Kentucky and as a toddler he had moved with his parents to New York City. So the city that he mentions in these uh, lines is of New York but when we reflect upon what he has written about we find whether it's New York, whether it's New Delhi or even if it's a small place like Singroli it is coming to the same feeling. We all start neglecting our own circle of friends. We don't meet them. And then time passes by. Time doesn't wait for us. We think of uh, an idea that we will talk to our teachers, we'll talk to our friends, we'll talk to our relatives, in many cases, uh, those who are staying away from their parents, they feel that they will talk to their parents within a day or two, or on the other hand, even parents think that they will talk to their children a little later, and then they forget because of their busy life. So let us not remain so busy that we do not get time to talk to our own people, people whom we love people whom we have regards. Otherwise, we'll be just left with regrets, as the poet in this poem says that he had received a telegram saying that Jim died this morning. So let our Jims don't die without us having a word with them. Thank you so much.